Hey guys, Double H here, and this is the ASUS of FX505 GT. So let's get to the specs. The laptop rocks a Core i7 9750H, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650, 16GB of RAM, and 500 inch PCIe SSD. It's a feature called Hypercool Technology, which is basically a cooling system. It has a fan underneath the laptop, and the hot air goes through the back. The laptop has a 15.6 inch Full HD display, which is pretty respectable. There is no HDR support, but it does have 120Hz refresh rate, which can massively impact your gaming performance. Although you had to reduce the graphic quality for the increased refresh rate. Speaking of ports, on the left side, the laptop has a power, Ethernet, HDMI, USB 2.0, two USB 3.0, and a headphone jack. There are no ports on the right side. On the top, the laptop has a glossy matte finish, which does feel metallic to the touch. The ASUS symbol on the back does turn on when you turn on the laptop or when you lift up the display. The built-in keyboard has a nice touch to it, mainly due to the matte finish. Typing on it also feels great, although it's not a mechanical keyboard. Oh yeah, by the way, the keyboard has RGB backlight support, obviously. If you intend to carry the laptop around, it weighs around 2.2 kilos and the battery will not last for an hour, so it's a no-no for possibility. Now, the following videos will be of gameplay which will give you some information on the gaming performance of the laptop. You may skip this part if you don't want to see it. Our first game will be Assassin's Creed Origins. As you can see, I'll be running it on custom graphics. Origins is one of the games that are really demanding, so the frames will be low on high graphics. I have reduced some graphical features that I believe are unnecessary, and the game seems to run at a very stable frame rate. Although in areas in the game where there's very little population, the frame rate does reach 60 FPS. Basically, the frame rate does actually fluctuate a bit, it depends on the area you are in. Okay, so it seems that Assassin's Creed Origins runs at a 45 FPS. Let's move on to the next game. The next game would be the one and only GTA 5. Again, I am running it on custom graphics. There are no presets in this game. Again, GTA 5 is a graphically demanding game, so the FPS would be low. If you're still watching the video and like it, please subscribe and press the bell icon to be the first to know when I upload my next video. So these are the settings I'm running GTA 5 in. In my opinion, it will be more fun to play GTA 5 at a higher graphics and lower FPS. If you want to play at a higher FPS, you can really reduce the graphics and get about 120 FPS. Okay, so GTA 5 seems to be running at a stable 50 FPS. The next game on our list is a quite popular battle royale game, Apex Legends. Now, in case of battle royale games like Apex Legends, you need more FPS to be, you know, more competitive. So, I'll be playing at a lower graphics and higher FPS.
by which I don't mean really high FPS, uh, kind of like more graphic, uh, you can say more balanced one. At least 60 FPS is what I'm targeting. And by the way, that gun I just used, that's super OP. Like, I don't even know how to play, I just obliterated him. So, in the custom graphic settings that I put on, um, it seems that we're getting about 75 FPS. Now, the next game is my favorite one, it's Fortnite. Now, since Fortnite really does have 4 presets of graphics, I will be running all the 4 graphics, um, showing all the FPS in each of the graphics, which is Epic, high, medium, and low. As of now, the game is running on Epic. So on Epic, it averages at about 60 FPS. Next, we will be running Fortnite on high graphical settings. And on high, the game runs at 80 FPS. Now it's time for medium graphics. Okay, now we're getting to the 100 FPS range. At medium, we're running at 110 FPS. Now we're at low graphic settings. The FPS will be significantly high, and it really, you don't need to go this high unless you're really serious about it. Okay, now we will hit the mark of 140 FPS. The extra 20 FPS won't be visible on the screen as it only supports 120 FPS. Okay, we reached the final result. Assassin's Creed Origins ran at 45 FPS, GTA 50. Apex 75, Fortnite 60, 80, 110, and 140 respectively. So overall, the Asus Tough FX505 GT is a great laptop, which is kind of an entry level gaming machine. You can also use it for editing purposes like I do. You just need to install the drivers for editing. And by the way, if you wondered what the background noise in my voiceover is, it is the fans at full throttle. Since Windows runs on SSD on this laptop, uh, the boot times are really low, 
Speaking of the cost, the laptop Asus TUF FX505 GT costs exactly 75,000 rupees. And there are many variants of this laptop on Amazon, both more expensive and cheaper, respective to the performance. If you're more focused on gaming, then you'd be better off buying the laptop with Ryzen CPU and a higher end graphics card. And that's it for this video, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys later.